I am running Android on my Steam Deck from the SD card. This is not emulated Android. It's called Bliss OS, which enables Windows device to run Android. This process is similar to installing Windows on an SD card for the Steam Deck. If you want Android, just insert the SD card, and you can now boot your Steam Deck into Android. This does not affect your Steam OS. In this video, let's explore how Android is running on the Steam Deck in 2024. If you want to use Android on your Steam Deck, I will put the step-by-step -step installation guide at the end of this video. The installation process is pretty straightforward. All the process can be done on your Steam Deck. You don't even need a PC for this. I want to go over the setup process first and then talk about what's working and what's not working. So you will have a basic idea of whether you want to install Android on your Steam Deck. After the installation, the Android setup process is pretty much the same as setting up a brand new smartphone. The Wi-Fi was picked up from the initial setup screen, which is a good sign, so we don't need to mess up with the Wi-Fi driver. Of course, the touch screen functions as it's supposed to. Also, I could log into my Google account successfully. After going through all the initial setup and booting into the Android, everything feels pretty smooth without any lag. It just feels like an Android tablet, and I can access the Play Store without any problems. The Steam button functions as the Home button, and the Quick Access button on the right side works as your Task Manager button on the Android. The Volume and Power buttons work as intended. Even the trackpad can be used to move the mouse, but we have to use button A as the mouse left click. Apparently, there is no issue with charging the Steam Deck. The screen brightness adjustment is fine too. I also tested Bluetooth with my headphone, and it's working perfectly well. Holy smoke, everything seems to be working perfectly after the installation. Nothing needs to be configured. Now let's talk about gaming. I have tested 10 Android games. Here are the games that are playing really well on the deck. The gyro or motion control has no issues at all, so here I am playing Need for Speed with the built-in motion control. All buttons are working as well. As you can see, I am playing the Modern Combat 5 with the built-in buttons and joystick. Of course, in order to play with the controller, you need to make sure the game has controller support. Okay, here are the games that were not boot up or stuck on the loading screen. I have tried to boot up multiple times, but just no luck with all those games. I believe those games require more power to run. Android on Steam Deck is not natively supported, so that's all we got so far. Before we head into the installation step, I want to let you know what will happen to your Steam Deck after installing the Android onto the SD card. First, after you've done the Android installation, every time you power on the Steam Deck, it will boot into the Android instead of Steam OS. But if you do not have the Android SD card inside the Steam Deck, the system will not boot. All you see is this screen. I know this is kinda annoying. We do not have dual boot menu at this moment for Android, so we just have to deal with this way. Second, after installing the Android, to boot into the Steam OS, you have to boot into the boot manager first and then select Steam OS. Also, you will see a Bliss OS bootloader on this boot manager screen. And this is normal. Android on Steam Deck is not perfect. As you can see during my game test, lots of high graphic demanding games are unplayable at this moment. Now let's start the installation. First, insert the SD card and format it under your Steam OS. After the formatting process is done, then boot into the desktop mode. Second, then go to the Bliss website and download the Bliss OS. Make sure you download the Bliss Go version. This works better with Steam Deck. It's under OS 16. Make sure you download the same version I used here. Okay. 
After download is complete, then go to Banana Etcher website and download the Banana Etcher. Make sure you download the Etcher for Linux 16.4, as I show in this video here. Then go to your download folder and open up the Banana Etcher software. Then burn the image into a USB flash drive. This flashing process will take a while, once it's done, it will show flash complete. 